talented young man who's uh, recently come out with his debut uh, album that's uh, self-titled Cuddle Cruise. Uh, at the age of four, he started playing the piano and he's been developing his musical talent all this, all this while. And now at the age of 26, he's here, man, and, and what a voice he is. What a voice. It's a pleasure to have you with us here. So it's such a pleasure morning. to How be are here. You? Good, thanks. Fantastic. Yeah, good it's, thanks. It's been a long morning for you and you, you've been warming up and finally yeah. you get to be on camera now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an early start for you guys. Very, very much so. But we, we, we love it. We, I mean, yeah. getting to chat to people like you. But worth and, it. Uh, <laughs> worth it. Worth <laughs> thank it. you very much. Thank you very much. Now, um, I think for, for most artists, when they, when they have their first album in hand, that's a feeling of, you know, this is, this is where I am. I've actually arrived, I've made it. But I, I hear that you have a very interesting story of how you realized that you'd made it and you were actually, well, famous, if I can call it that, yeah? I, you're talking about the neighbor thing? Please tell me about, t tell South Africans that story because I think it's hilarious. Um, the song did really well. Yeah, this uh, is the and, song and, and, Not Just Friends. Yeah, Not Just Friends. It, it uh, got playlisted on radio across the country and uh, across the world. And uh, uh, it just, it went to number one so quickly. We were really happy at David Gresham Records and myself really amped. But the day that I knew that this was a hit was when on my balcony I was checking out uh, the view and I listened uh, to my neighbor uh -huh. jamming this song very loud very loud in her in her apartment she was singing I tell you this I don't really want you know just yeah. loud on her <laughs> so I thought this is it I've made it so I, I walk outside I see her in the passageway in the corridor and uh, I thought this is my moment so I go up to her and I'm like hey how you do we have a long conversation and at the end she says to me all right, thanks, Cameron. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know who you are now? Does she call you by your right name? Listen, if she's watching here tonight, uh, this morning, if you were watching, it's Colonel Cruz, it's <laughs> not me, Cameron. It's me, it's me. <laughs> but where did this whole journey start for you? I understand that you, you uh, studied through London's Trinity School of Music. That's right. Um, over the years, where did this music thing start for you? Um, as a kid, growing up in my family, uh, a very musical family with a, a long history and appreciation of music, yes. um, uh, it was instilled in all of us, my cousins, my brother, um, we just loved music and we had to do it. Yeah. Um, we, we didn't have any say in the matter, uh, which is understandable because no four-year-old willingly gets onto the piano to start learning it. This is true. Um, so my parents and my grandmother put me through uh, Trinity College and, um, and several other um, wonderful things uh, to just grow my love and appreciation and, yeah. and ability in music. Um, even when I was about 14 years old, I, I wanted to give this whole thing up. You know, uh, The discipline and the practicing just got too much. Yeah. Uh, but they persisted. And I gotta say, right now, I'm so grateful to them. Wow. Grateful to them for uh, putting me through it. What struck me when I opened this up the uh, first time, um, inside the booklet, it said, uh, dedicated to IJM. That's right. Who, who is that, and, and uh, what is the significance of, of uh, IJM to itself? IJM is, um, he's, he's my grandfather. And um, uh, I grew up in my grandparents' home. Um, for a lot of my childhood and uh, he and my grandmother and my mom are the most important people in my life even to this day um, and uh, he was very supportive and uh, encouraging about this this whole uh, career and, and doing music for a living and and it was his thing it was I think that um, he was going to listen to the album before it was done but uh, sadly he uh, he passed away earlier this year and um, he never got to hear any of the tracks oh. so um, so this album, and, and, and particularly uh, song number seven on this album, is, um, is all for him. It's about, uh, it's about um, commemorating and, and uh, making the most of his legacy. Yeah. Wow, man. Um, thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, and I'm, I'm certain that if you had to hear this, he'd be very, very proud indeed. Now, so. stay tuned wherever you are across the land. Even if you're about to go to work, you want to stay tuned for the next about you know, five minutes or so. When we come back, a live performance from this young gentleman right here on Expresso.